This is the story of the Howler Monkey's hiccups. The main character of our story is a Howler Monkey. And because most monkeys live in a jungle, we're gonna go ahead and set up the setting of our story. All right, here's our jungle. I'm gonna put some nice trees in here. How's this look? Lots of nice green trees. And because our setting is happening during the day, let's just put a cloud up here in the corner. All right, let's go ahead and start our story. One day, the howler monkey was walking through the forest. He had a big problem. He had had hiccups for a very long time. were really starting to bother him and he didn't know how to get rid of them. Along came a lion. Hi, Howler Monkey, said the lion. What's going on? Why do you look so upset? Well, said the Howler Monkey, I have had hiccups for a really long time and they're really starting to bother me. Well, how can I help you, said the lion. Well, you can help me by helping me figure out how to get rid of these hiccups. Well, I've got an idea, said the lion. Why don't you try taking a big drink of water from the water hole? That might get rid of your hiccups. That's a good idea, said the howler monkey. I haven't tried that yet. So the howler monkey went to the water hole and took a big drink of water. <sniffs> When he was done, he stood on the grass. He didn't think he had any hiccups. But then, hick, 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 they were still there. Oh, said the howler monkey, I thought for sure the hiccups were gone, but alas, they're still there. Oh. Along came an elephant. Hi, Howler Monkey. Why do you look so upset? The Howler Monkey said, I have had hiccups for a very long time and I don't know how to get rid of them. Well, how can I help, said the elephant. Well, you can help me figure out a way to get rid of my hiccups, said the Howler Monkey. Well, have you tried spinning around in circles three times? That might get rid of your hiccups. Well, I haven't tried that yet, said the howler monkey. All right, here goes. And he stood back on the grass and he gave it a try. One, two, and the big three. A little dizzy, the howler monkey stood back and waited. Oh, he thought for sure that was gonna work, but alas, it didn't. What am I gonna do, said the howler monkey. Well, I'm sorry, said the elephant. I thought that would work for you. The howler monkey just frowned. Along came a giraffe. What's the matter, howler monkey, said the giraffe. The howler monkey said, I have had hiccups for the longest time and I just can't get rid of them. Oh, what can I do to help, said the giraffe. Well, said the howler monkey, you can help me by trying to think of a way that would help me get rid of these hiccups. Well, howler monkey, said the giraffe, have you tried standing on your head? That might get rid of your hiccups. Well, no, I haven't tried that yet and it won't hurt to try, said the howler monkey. So the howler monkey walked over to a rock and he stood upside down on his head on the rock. And he stood, stood there on his head for a very, very long time. After a while in the hot sun, the howler monkey started to hurt. And he thought, well, if the hiccups are going to go, they should be gone by now. So he got down off the rock and waited to see what would happen. Oh, said the howler monkey, I still have a 
haven't gotten rid of my hiccups. What should I do? Then along came two boa constrictors. Ah! <laughs> Said the howler monkey. And then miraculously, his hiccups disappeared. Being scared by the snakes had miraculously gotten rid of his hiccups. What can we do to help you, said the snakes. Well, you can help me stop shaking, said the howler monkey. The end. <laughs>